Hi everyone, my name is Matthew O'Dell and I work for iSolutions. And over the past 20 years, we've been building custom FileMaker solutions for a number of clients. And in those 20 years and when talking to prospective clients, there's one question that keeps coming up. And that question is, can FileMaker do digital asset management? And the answer is most assuredly yes. Over all of those years, we've built a ton of solutions that have taken advantage of the great features that FileMaker gives us around digital assets. And so in order to actually show off a lot of those great features, we've built a digital asset manager demo that we like to call Demo, uh, and we're going to demo that for you today. Now before we get into it, uh, we're going to pretend for this demo that we work at a creative agency, and at that agency there are two coworkers. One is June. She's the creative director and she's in charge of all of the different assets that are coming through. And then there's Frank, who's the person that is actually creating those assets. So to get started, let's jump in from the point of view of June. As the creative director, June normally goes from meeting to meeting with her iPad in hand. Luckily, she has full access to the solution via FileMaker Go on her iPad, where she can see the different projects that she's in charge of, or manage the different users on her team who have access to the system. In this case, though, we're going to focus, though, on the approvals that are currently waiting for her. She has two assets that she needs to view and approve or deny, and those are a video and a poster. Let's start with the video. One of the great things with FileMaker is that you can easily view videos and images and PDFs as well as listen to audio directly in line on the screen. So I can see other information about this video as well as view it. And then when I'm done viewing it, in this case, I can decide whether or not I want to approve or deny it. June's going to approve this one. It looks pretty good. After approving the video, June has the option to leave a little note that will be stored with this asset so in case anybody wants to come back they can see what she thought of it. In this case she's just going to say it looks great. Now the second asset that she has to view is this poster. In this case she's not so happy with it and maybe there are a few changes she's going to make. Um, she's also noticing that they're missing one of the band names that they need to add. So in this case we're going to deny this poster and then leave a small note uh, about missing the band name. Once she's done, now the ball is in Frank's court as it's his turn to access the solution. As a graphic designer, Frank normally spends most of his time on his Mac, so he has access to the solution via FileMaker Pro. While looking at the solution, you'll notice that Frank, because he's not a creative director, has a slightly different view. He still has the ability to view the projects that he's on and his assets, but he doesn't have approvals, and he also doesn't have the ability to manage users, which is one of the great things with FileMaker, where you can present different people with the right things that they have access to and removing the access from the things that they don't, they shouldn't have access to. In this case, he got a message from June letting him know that... Uh, she didn't approve his poster. So he's going to go into his jazz festival project and go to the poster. And he can easily go over to the notes and see the note that June was nice enough to leave for him that he needs to add in the Al Lopez trio. In this case, he's actually going to go over to the versions tab and check out this asset so he can make this change. In checking out the asset, FileMaker will download the Photoshop file to his computer and then open it up in Photoshop for him to edit. In this case, he needs to add the Al Lopez trio, so he's going to come over to the text tool. And at the very end, add in the Al Lopez trio. Once he's done, he'll save this and hide Adobe Photoshop and come back in to check in this asset. In which case, the changed version is going to be sucked right back into FileMaker and create a new version that he can then send for approval. 
you notice that we're actually keeping the older version here first because it has the new version that he's uploaded hasn't been approved yet. We have a new version 1.3 here that we can send over for approval, in which case it's going to put it back in June's court. Now when Frank actually requests approval, an email is sent to June so she can see, hey, there's something waiting for her approval. In this case, here's the email sitting in her inbox, and there's a link that she can easily click on to get directly to the asset that she needs to approve. By clicking the link, it actually opens FileMaker Go and takes her directly to the asset that she needs to view. In this case, she's looking at the poster and notices that the Al Lopez trio has been added, and so she feels confident enough to approve the, approve the asset. So to wrap everything up, let's cover some of the things we saw in the demo. First, we had the ability to view videos and images and PDFs and audio directly in line without having to move away from the system, which is really handy. I also have one of the great things with FileMaker of the auto updates of data. Once I make a change in one place, anybody else who's in the system can also see those changes. There's also the features of adding comments or notes, which is very popular in a lot of asset managers out there like Dropbox. Also, we saw the ideas of workflow that are very popular in things like SharePoint, where I can check in or check out assets, as well as having a version history over time so that I can have that saved. But then one of the great things with FileMaker is this ability to have a completely customized solution customized to your needs so that I can have my custom views so that in this case the creative director saw and could do different things than what my graphic designer could do. But I also had custom data to, that I specifically needed for my solution. So I want to thank you for taking the time to view our demo today. If you'd like to reach us, feel free to contact us at isolutions-inc.com. Again, that's isolutions-inc.com. And have a good rest of your day.